Hey everybody, this is Brian and today we're going to be covering installing VB.NET Express. Um, you've already downloaded the file from our previous tutorial, so just double click it. And be sure to approve it. It'll extract itself. And then it'll deflate and do all of its snazzy setup stuff. Now throughout this video I might pause it in a few spots just to save you know, the amount of time you have to sit here and watch this thing install. The setup program could be quite lengthy. Um, I like my privacy, so I choose not to send information to Microsoft. Hit next. I've read the terms of agreement. Hit next. And yes, legally, technically, you're supposed to read all that. Okay, no, I do not want to download and install Silverlight because I prefer Macromedia Flash. And then I just typically install it in its default location, and this is what's going to be installed. Um, you don't really have to worry about this stuff at this point. We'll cover all that later. And during the installation progress, it'll download the files it needs. Um, as you can see, it's downloading 167 megs. So if you have a slow internet connection, this could take a while. So start the installation process, go watch a movie, or go hang out with your, fo you know, your friends, your pet dog, your cat, your kids. Um, personally, what I like to do is sit here and watch the progress bar because it's very boring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this, save you some time, and when it's done, I will resume the video. Okay, we're back. We've downloaded all the components. Now, once they're all downloaded, it will go through and install them one by one. As you can see, there's quite a bit of them. Typically, you can reduce your, your download times if you already have the .NET framework installed. You do need the um, Express version for these tutorials. And that is what we're installing. If you're wondering where I got this, uh, go to www.microsoft.com slash express or see our previous tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and pause this again as this might be a lengthy process. And we are back. Okay, installation is successful. Um, as you can see, it does not require a reboot. It will ask you to go to Microsoft Update to download any latest service packs, security updates, etc., etc. That's usually pretty recommended. I'll let you do that on your own. Just go ahead and click exit and you are done. And that concludes our tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining and stick around. We will actually start beginning our journey towards Visual Basic.NET programming. Thank you.